Well, what, one of the things I was asked um, by many investors when I first arrived, after I went through my diligence for that first mm. earnings call, was what was the biggest surprise? And the biggest surprise for me is how early stage Google is, which is a, a stunning thing to say given the scale of what we're doing. And that's what we end up really talking about is um, we're still at the very early stages of some really important secular changes. When, when you look at what's going on with mobile as an example, <coughs> just the way we all use our devices, I mean, he's already commented on some of it, but how do, how do you interact, where, where do you get information, the power of machine learning to actually give you information before you even know that you're going to want to use it when you're going to a new place. So how are we using the phone? It's one thing. Mm -hmm. The number of people who are coming online is pretty extraordinary. The way advertising is moving. You look at, for example, YouTube. We have more 18 to 49 year olds watching YouTube video on mobile than watching cable in the US. And so what does that mean for um, advertising dollars? So we really go across our products and say we're early. Markets are moving. We have to be maniacally focused on them because others are as well, and make sure we're delivering the best experience for users. Given the Netflix valuation, is it time to make YouTube uh, a standalone business under the uh, Alphabet umbrella? Like our view is there's a really strong interrelationship between all of these businesses. Uh -huh. we, we all benefit from one core infrastructure. The compute capacity is extraordinary. We have one ad sales force, and the back and forth I just mentioned, you're watching YouTube on mobile, you've got mobile search, it's kind of, it's, it's very integrated, so that's uh, the way we look at the okay. business. 